Hello, and welcome to Crafternoon at the Saskatoon Public Library. Uh, here I am in two corners, and on Treaty 6 territory in the traditional homeland of the Métis. And today, we're going to do a craft together. I'm all alone in here. It's just me and the two corner animals. So I'm going to take off my mask. I don't think that's going to hurt anyone. And we're going to do a paper craft today. What we're going to make is an exploding card. Let me show you what that is. Looks like this. And when you go like this, it opens up. This particular one says, welcome to Crafternoon. And of course, you can put it back together so it's closed when you're finished. So, an exploding star card. I'm going to start with just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Uh, you can use whatever paper you've got. Uh, it can be any size, actually, but this is convenient because mo more, most people are able to get this. I'm using yellow colored because I like it, but if you have, have white and want it to be a different color, just color all over it first. So, how we start is we're going to turn this piece of paper into an equilateral triangle. So how do you do that? First of all, you take it and you fold it in half the long way. So I have a fold right down the center. Now I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to take a corner. This corner is going to touch the center line I just made. And I'm going to make a line from here to the corner with the edge of my paper. So here, this one touches the center line. This one touches the corner. I line the two up. And then I squish that fold that I just made. Okay, so now I've got a line across like this. Okay, now I'm going to turn the paper over. And I'm going to take this line I just made, up, made and I'm going to line it up with this edge. Right from the corner here, right there where my fold starts, right to the edge of the paper. You see, that's not long enough. It's not going to be a long enough fold. So take a look, just a minute. I'm folding this. Then I'm folding this edge like this. And what I have, when I open up my two folds, is I've got an equilateral triangle that size. Now, I have to take it in and cut it out. And you say, well, that takes paper out of the, that take, cuts out the center of my paper. What am I going to do with the rest of this? The really interesting thing about these triangles is because the angles are always the same, you can use the rest of your paper to cut smaller triangles. So if you have, if you want to make smaller uh, exploding cards afterwards, or you have other uses for triangles, and I've made several different types of things, you will have enough to make more triangles. Give me just a second after I cut this out, I'll show you how very quickly how that's done. There I have one large yellow triangle and I have two pieces left over. So what am I going to do? First of all, I'm going to take it like this so it's got the corner here. I'm going to fold the corner over to match. And what do you see right there? There's a triangle. I can cut that one out. Same on this one because the angle is always the same on these. If I fold the edge over, I can make another triangle. And then if I want to, I can fold it back again and make another smaller triangle in the corner there. Lots of triangles. Just keep making triangles till you have as many as you want. So here is the triangle we're going to use. Now, the next thing we have to do is find the center of this triangle. And you think, okay, how do I do that? Now, you take two, any two corners, hold them together, and you pinch about halfway. Don't pinch all the way down. We don't want to really mark our paper up that much. Okay, somewhere in there is going to be the center. Now, how do we find the next part of it? 
to pinch any other two corners. And you'll find that it makes, pinch it right over where you pinched the last one. And you'll find it makes a, and it lets. It doesn't matter, you can do the third corner as well, but you, it won't make any difference because it comes out to the same point. See, there we have a little mark in the center of our paper that says that's the center. Now, we're going to take each of our corners, but I'm going to start with the one that has the fold across from our original fold. I'm going to take that corner, fold it up over this original fold to the other side because it'll go directly over and you'll have a line like that. And now, I'm going to take and unfold it and then fold it to that center point we just made. Okay. I've done that. And then I'm just going to leave it folded like this for a minute. I'm going to take my next corner and I'm going to fold it over to the, to the opposite side, right along this line we just made. Then I'm going to unfold it and fold it to the center. Now I'm going to do the third corner and see already I've got the got a line map marked for it where the corner is supposed to fold to. Fold it to the opposite side, then fold it to the center. That's all the, the folds that we need. Now all we have to do is fold it up. So first of all, fold the corner into the, to the opposite side and then fold the corner back. And now we have a corner that sticks out. Now we take our next corner, fold it over the top, and fold the corner back. And then we fold the third corner. We fold it over the top, and we fold it back. But we want this corner to stay, and it's going to pop up. So we take the corner that isn't, that, that it is doubled, and we tuck it underneath instead of onto the tape. And there is our triangle already. And of course, when we, when we want to open it, all we do is pull any two corners. And you have to take a minute and tuck it back in. But you've got your, you've got your exploding triangle card. Now what are we going to do with it? Well, we can decorate it any way we want. On this one, I just drew around a, a circle around the edge and the same circle on the back. But that way, my circle on front explodes. Of course, you can just write into the center, or you can take one of your extra triangles and put it into the center and write on it first. There's an extra triangle. Just need to make it the right size. Or you could even cut out a circle and put it inside. Decorate any way you want. Lots of ways you can decorate this. These are quick and easy to make, and you can make enough for a whole celebration if you make.